Hey everybody, welcome to Keep It Real. Today I'm going to show you guys what's in my phone. Alright, starting with the phone here, it is a Huawei P9 Lite which I bought at an event I was emceeing. It has a clear plastic phone case right here, there's already been a bit of a dent here. I also have this little eye ring thing, which I don't particularly like because this gets really loose over time. I'd much rather have those pop socket things, I think those last a little bit better. First things first, when you see, when you try to unlock it, you see a picture of my wife. And the thing about this phone is that it has a fingerprint scanner here, so you click that and then you unlock it. So a little bit about this phone and how I think about phones. Phones to me are not so much an entertainment factor thing. You know, I don't have any games on I don't have much games on it. I don't really play a lot of video games on it. But what I do have is a lot of utilitarian type stuff. Because I use my phone mostly for work to get job done. Okay. So uh, here is the first page. So here's the first thing. So I, I just keep one slide empty, you know, just for for for, for whatever purpose. If you want to know, that's me sending in IKEA. So in the first page here, we have our widgets. We have the date. We have the weather, the time. We have this album thing. No songs, which I don't. Again, I don't play songs on this thing. This is not an entertainment thing. Uh, if I do play songs, it's gonna be from YouTube. I have a search bar right there. Then I have all my Google. Uh, software that I use. I use a lot of YouTube, I use a lot of Gmail and then all this this really helps keeps me uh, functional and helps keeps me productive for the rest of the day. That's it. Google Maps something I use a lot as well. Google Drive something I want to use more in the near future. Uh, next day I have the Google Play Store right here. Uh, I haven't really downloaded much stuff uh, as you'll see here but I have used this before. We have the settings here uh, which I have yet to update because this thing is almost out of memory. This thing only has 16 gigs of memory and it's almost out. Have the camera right there and then you have phone, contacts, uh, text message and Google Chrome. Moving on to the next page. Same thing, everything is pretty much standard up here to your clock, your files, your phone manager and all that. And as you can see, uh, I have pretty much maxed it out and I don't really have enough money to upgrade to a new phone. I want to get the Nova uh, 3i, I think 3, E3i, something like that. It has 128 gigs of internal storage so that should really help. Okay, next up. Now under this, so this is like the fitness thing, it comes with the inbuilt app, the health app which kind of just counts your steps and your calorie. I have a Tabitha timer for when I do kind of hit training type workouts, I use that, that Tabitha uh, timer. So in here my standard setting is that 5 seconds prepare, 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest and then I just play around with the cycles and then the set counts. Uh, pretty simple app, straightforward. And the tools, you no, know, you have the basic stuff. You have your radio, your calculator, your torch. Nothing fancy here. I do have Microsoft Office because sometimes I read, uh, uh, because sometimes I read PowerPoint presentations in here. And this is just empty. There used to be something here. I can't remember where it is. This one's very important for me as a beatboxer. I use a metronome a lot when I want to train, and I also Shazam a lot because when I hear an awesome music, I want to know what it is. So this just helps to save it. Uh, let's just find out what I have saved in the past. Here we have uh, this song, we have East Side, we have uh, Be Alright by Dean Lewis, 2002 by Anne Marie, Lemon Tree, Fool's Garden. So anytime I hear a song that I forgot the title of, I just save it here. So there you go. Uh, next up, uh, social media, of course being a YouTuber, content creator, quite important. I got your Instagram, Twitter, Messenger, Page Manager, uh, WhatsApp and Facebook. So all, all the links to my social media accounts right here. Next up, one of the only few games I do have, which is chess. Uh, I, I love chess, I've been playing it since I was really young. I play online just to have a bit of fun. Uh, I would say I am just the... Okay, uh, I've lost the last four games and I won the game before that. So that shows you just how bad I am. Spending tracker, very important. I use this to help manage my money, so I have so I have X amount of money, and then you can see like how much money I've spent throughout the month. And all right, next up, I have ways here, very important. I am terrible at directions, and I always get lost, so this has become a, a lifesaver. I have my camera connect for my Canon, because uh, sometimes when I take a picture, I just want to download it straight into my phone. Lazada app for a little bit of online shopping. Agoda for traveling, uh, for accommodations when I go traveling. And I have Twilight app. So Twilight app is pretty much uh, as the day goes by and it gets dark, you can adjust the tint and intensity, the brightness, the dimness, and the temperature of the screen to compensate for the time of the day. Now this one my wife really doesn't like. It's called the red candle. So what it is, it's just an app with like a little candle on it. Okay, kind of useless. The only situation I've ever used this for is when I'm at a, a concert or I'm at an open mic and then I just wave this in the sky instead of the flashlight in the back. Uh, another thing that's very helpful for me is Litex. So Litex is a, a, a tagging app 
So you put in your keyword. In this case, let's just put the word YouTuber in. Then you can see all the relevant hashtags for YouTubers. So you can just copy, you just press copy here. And then when you go to Instagram, just paste it and all this will paste right underneath your text. Uh, grab, sometimes I take grab. Uh, very helpful being here in Malaysia. A QR code reader for when I want to read a QR code. And then uh, 8 coin. So 8 coin is like a, a pay per share app. So how it works is that you go into 8 coin and then you sign in. So then you pick a story. So let's say you pick this story. Uh, you pick the headline you want. In this case, there's only one choice of headline. And then you share now. So then it shares onto your Facebook page. And then for every person that clicks it open, you get uh, XX amount of coins, which you can convert to either redeem points, vouchers, or money. And then that's it. And then just another empty slide right here. Then that's it. That is my phone in a nutshell. Almost no entertainment in here other than social media and one game. Everything else is pretty much uh, utilitarian. And to be honest, one of the reasons that may be is because I do not have enough memory. If I had more memory, in my phone, then I, I guess I would have more apps and play more games. But I don't, and that's limiting factors, so I have to be very, very, very choosy with what I put in my phone. Okay, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, my camera battery is about to die, and I'm about to go home and go for a jog. Here we are, guys.